Everybody, this is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com, and in this video, we're going to take a look at stocks that are are, are uh, related to the new uh, Trump steel and aluminum tariffs. So uh, yeah, so we're going to be looking at steel and aluminum aluminum stocks, and then stocks that are uh, adversely affected today by the uh, by this news. Okay, so first up, we're going to look at, at ticker symbol X. This is U.S. Steel Group closed up uh, nearly six percent today. So this was a big move. Uh, the, the the bullish development was the close above high close horizontal resistance. As you can see, it had been trading in a sideways channel for the last couple of weeks, and so the close above these two white candles here basically above 45 is the signal that it wants to head higher and so if you just keep an eye on 45 and then the EMA 4 here you notice how the candles have been riding above this pink line as long as 4550 holds you know that the uptrend should should continue if you see a close below that's where you could get some consolidation as long as this middle Bollinger band down here at 39 to 57 is is holding then this this longer term uptrend is intact okay it had a little pullback and it tested the 50-day simple Moving average, which, which held. So, so now it's it, it did form an indecision candle with this spinning top, and so it's it's going to need to uh, hold EMA four and and push higher. Notice there was giant volume behind the, the move today, so huge volume spike. And then if we look here at the monthly chart, you can see each candle here represents one month of trading, and so it's been on a really nice uh, multi-month run here. Um, since back here in June uh, and uh, uh, down here in June and then it got above the 50 month moving average and then it got above the uh, the, the 100, 300 and 200 uh, the, the, above the red line which is the 200 month moving average. It closed above that level last month and, and then uh, n notice how it broke uh, out above the uh, high close here in, in uh, 2017 and also the high close from 2014. That close last month above this double top level it did signal more upside potential, and then now it's starting to push higher. And if if you look back here, now it's hitting this resistance zone. Okay, it's hitting 2011, you know, 2010, you know, and, and a little bit of 2009 resistance here. This is a big zone. Okay, th between 45 and 60, and, and so uh, you know it's going to have to work through this. But but if it can uh, get above 60, that's where it could really get moving. Uh, so so yeah, so we'll see here if it can uh, break through this. Uh, um, uh, what is this? 45 to uh, 50 resistance zone. That'll be the next key level. It, it, as long as EMA4 down here at 4072 continues holding, you know, this monthly, uh, multi month uptrend is intact and the signals to keep riding. No, notice there's huge uh, volume behind the move. All right, let's look at AKS. Okay, this is AK still holding. It closed up nearly 10% today. Notice how RSI uh, closed just above uh, uh, 50. It's, it's at 53 with room to run until that 70 overbought level. You have a bullish crossover here. On on Fasto, it's still below 80. Uh, check out Plus DI here. The green line, it, it just crossed over the black line, ADX, and then it's pinched with the red line. If the green line crosses over the, the red line and starts heading higher, that would be a good signal the bulls are heating up. Um, yeah, if you look back here in uh, December, you, you can see there was a crossover where the green line crossed over the red line. It's a very similar setup to here where you had all three of them converging. And then notice how when the green line broke out above, uh, you know, that 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 corresponded with down here on the chart and then a very long uptrend followed. So, you know, if it breaks out above, this could get a push going. That's that's just another indicator that we use to signal, uh, you know, trend changes. And, and if you look right here, it's hitting key resistance levels. It's hitting the 200-day simple moving average, which it closed just above, and then the upper wick hit that 50-day simple moving average at 572. So if you see it above 572, that will be very bullish. A close above will be bullish. And then notice the descending resistance line, okay? If it can... Close above the six descending or the six uh, this descending resistance line above the sixth resistance level. It's this closing price here on this candle. If it can close above that, it, it, that would be the, the clear signal. Okay, yeah, this really wants to run higher, and that's where you can see it head back up to the 660 zone, which is the high close where it, where it formed a double top before it pulled back here on January the 17th is the big level to break. So yeah, so you look at the big volume behind the move, and then there was big volume uh, a couple weeks ago. So yeah. The, 
the, the, the and then look at the long lower wick on today's candle uh, off of that middle Bollinger Band. They loaded off the middle Bollinger Band. So all it has to do is push through resistance and hold support, and this uptrend should continue. Okay, look at STLD. This is still dynamics. Okay, it closed up 4% today. Um, you know, it is in the bull zone on RSI. Fasto, you know, when you have that black line crossing over the red line, it's a signal the bulls are heating up. Um, you know, if they can get back above 80, uh, if you look back here, uh, when it was running, you can see uh, how it how it was running between here and 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 up here. Uh, you know, uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah, like right here. Th that that's when Fasto was above 80. And, and so if you see if if you see STLD get back above 80 and it can stay above that level, it wasn't able to right here. Th then it could get a sustained run going. So we'll see if it can push higher. Um, it right now it, it it is in an uptrend, but 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 it, it it's uh, you know. It, it, it had a pullback and it got back. It bounced off of the middle Bollinger Band, which is 46. That's the big level to hold. The dotted purple line. It's also the 20-day simple moving average. And, and if you see, it has like this kind of a rising wedge type pattern. And, and so if it drops below the middle Bollinger Band and below this green ascending support line, that would be a red flag. Notice just below is the 50-day simple moving average at 45.61. That level has to hold. If it broke below, that would signal that it's broken. And then you'd see a pullback down to the 100-day simple moving average at 41. To the upside, if you see it break out above 49.50, that's the high close here, that would be the big signal, okay, it's heading higher. So look for a close above 49.50 to, to signal STLD wants to break out higher. Okay, look at NUE. Okay, this is new core corp. This is another steel company, and, and so it has a similar pattern where, where uh, you know it got back above the middle Bollinger Band. It's been in this sideways channel, and, and so it needs to break above 68.50. Okay, that's the high close level to break. If you see it, and, and also notice it's lining up with the descending resistance line. You know, so you have descending resistance, and, and so you know if there's a break above descending resistance and horizontal resistance, which are both lined up with 68.50, that would be a big signal. Okay, yeah, it wants to head higher, and then it would like run up here to the 70 level which was that recent high close and, and so you know that's the big level to break is the the closing price on this candle right here from the second week of January so yeah uh, you know big volume behind the move as long as it's holding that that 50 day simple moving average the green line there at 59 or uh, 66 27 and then the the uh, middle Bollinger band at 65 25 then the uptrend is still intact and it should continue okay look at CE and X okay this is century aluminum this is an aluminum company and uh yeah it, you know it had, had a really uh sharp pullback look at all those red candles so it was a really nice bounce today um you know but 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 they sold off the the uh from from that that middle bollinger band and 50 day simple moving average notice how the the dotted purple line was the top and, and so that's the 20 day simple moving average as well and they, they pulled that back and, the, and they closed it also below that 50 day simple moving average currently at 21 and, and so you know 21 2150 those are two huge levels to break it did close above the the pink line which is EMA4 you know it's the first close above that level since since the 21st when it closed below and it turned into resistance and so that is signaling possible you know that is signaling a bullish change in trend you know it it it, it, it is trying to get a reversal going you know it, it, if it can stay above EMA4 at 2022 then that would be bullish if it drops back below EMA4 then this downtrend would would likely continue now if you see it close above <clears throat> 2155 above that middle Bollinger Band. That's when it could push higher and retest this uh, double top level up here where it formed a double top before it pulled back. So, you know, it hit here, pulled back, hit a double top, and that was the big pullback. So so that, that's what bulls are looking for. Has to break above resistance. Okay, look at AA now. This is Alcoa. Now, now uh, yeah, you know, so it's in this uh, very long downtrend. It, 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 you know, the, the chart's very ugly from a, a, a bullish perspective here. And, uh, yeah, it's hitting support um, from, from over here where, where where, uh, you know, this previous level is where it broke down and then broke out. And, and so this 45 level is a really big level. If it breaks, th then it could drop down here to the 200-day simple moving average at 42.77. It, it needs to get above EMAs 4, 8, and 13. You know, basically, if it can get above the middle Bollinger Band and this 100-day simple moving average at 48, then it could get the reversal going. Uh, right now, you know, it's trying to get a double bottom bounce right here in this zone. You know, a drop below 45 would be a red flag. 
flag, putting that, that 4250 to 43 level on deck. Okay, so another one to take a look at is, uh, uh, is CLF, F, uh, Cliff Naturals. So, uh, yeah, this is another, <clears throat> yeah, I should have had it over here on the steel, but this is another uh, steel company to uh, have your eye on because uh, it's been heating up. It had nice gains today, closed up 10%. Um, it, it, it's at 56 on RSI. No, notice the, the, the big move here uh, above the uh, 50 and 300 day simple moving averages. So that, that was the, the, you know, that was this bullish close that, that everyone was looking for. So that was sweet. Now, now it has to uh, break above the next level, which is going to be the uh, closing price here on this candle. So basically that 790 resistance zone, $798 resistance zone, close above that, that's going to be your signal that wants to head higher. And then it could run back up to that 880 level, you know, up to the closing price up here. Um, you know, if it uh, fails to break this uh, $8 resistance zone that could signal a temporary top the, the, the thing now is it just needs to stay above the the uh, 50 day simple moving average and the 300 day simple moving average basically above this 760 uh, support zone and if it can hold above that level you know then it should be able to push higher you know once you see it above 790 that'll be a, a clear signal okay yeah it's it's pushing back up and, and uh, should should test that nine level okay and look at the big volume behind today today today's move which is exactly what the bulls were looking for so very very cool it just has to uh, uh, turn that 300 into support okay let's look at CAT here um, Caterpillar it, it had this uh, big pullback it dropped below the uh, 50 day simple moving average below the middle Bollinger Band and then uh, um, it, and then now it's testing that 100 day simple moving average uh, very similar to the indexes that I uh, posted a video on a little while ago um, you know it needs to hold this 100 day simple moving average at 147.84 uh, this is the big level and then it has to get back above the middle Bollinger Band at 155.96, basically 156, and then above the 160 50-day uh, uh, simple moving average level. You know, it, it, if the if the 50-day simple moving average and middle Bollinger Band turn in resistance, it signals that 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 the the uh, attempt to start an uptrend failed, and, and that this downtrend is continuing. And, and so, since the 100-day simple moving average held last time, if it breaks this time, that's going to be a major red flag, and, and, and it could really get move into the downside. I mean, the next big uh, simple moving average is the 200 day simple moving average way down at 129 not saying it would necessarily drop that far I I'm just saying that it wouldn't be good if it got below this uh, 100 day uh, simple moving average you know you're going to find support you know c c coming here on, on previous uh, resistance levels you know this was a tight channel and then it broke out you know 142 138 but you get the picture it's not good if it's below that middle Bollinger Band okay look at uh, check out BA here this is Boeing. Okay, so Boeing was was doing really good. You know, is hitting uh, the super high levels over here. Um, you know, th this Doji was your red flag. You know, forming a Doji at the top after a gap up open. That's the bearish Doji star reversal pattern. And then you had the red candle confirming. And then now you have the red candle following through. And then today it was holding that that middle Bollinger Band at, at basically a 349. And, and if that you know level holds, then that 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 would signal that this uptrend is intact you know if it breaks like these candles here notice how they all came down and hit the hit the uh, uh, the, the lower Bollinger Band well the lower Bollinger Bands lined up down here with the 50-day simple moving average so you're likely to see a drop down to 330 you know you could see a $15 drop if, if this 350 support level or $20 drop if this if this uh, support level fails to hold so so this is a crucial level on the charts you know below 3 350 for Boeing is going to signal downside risk that that way you would be looking for uh, you know a pullback down to that 330 50-day simple moving average support level. Now, if you look at the 15-minute chart, you could see here you know when it broke down below the uh, 50 uh, simple moving average and middle Bollinger Band here uh, on this uh, 10th or 2 230 candle on the 28th, that was your red flag. And then notice how that was your first you know your first big clue. It was breaking down. You know when it when it hit that level back here on the 27th, it bounced off, but but it formed another red candle below. And that was your signal. Okay, this is really breaking down right here. It bounced right, and, and but here it kept going, and, and then it got below the hundred, below the two hundred, 
below the 300 simple moving average. It bounced off the 300, and then it ended up breaking the, the 300 at 1 o'clock. And then now, you know, it's down towards the bottom of the chart. You're looking, you know, once again at this 347 level. It's a big level to hold. It, it, you know, it has to get above 351. It, that, that orange line at, 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 at basically 352 is EMA 13. You know, that's the big level to break. Um, you know, it almost got above that today, you know, bouncing into the close. And then once it turns the middle Bollinger Band into support, that's when it could try to get an uptrend going. You know, it has a lot of work to do. Um, it's trying to find support here. It's below all the moving averages in the 15-minute chart, so it's super bearish. The bulls are, bears are in control right now. Okay, let's look at MTW. Okay, uh, Manitowoc here is uh, under pressure. Um, you know, they're the uh, commercial vehicles. Uh, they're, they, you know, they use steel, and, and so uh, it, it's it's dropping, uh, been dropping very hard here. Um, it broke below the 300-day simple moving average yesterday, and then today it's dropping lower. Um, you know, it closed below that lower Bollinger Band, so it's very oversold. If you look at Fasto, it's at 2. I mean, this is extreme oversold levels, <clears throat> and you have RSI at 22. So you have to be looking at this for at least a, a short cover uh, bounce, you know, short cover rally, technical bounce. Um, there is a small gap between uh, low of day yesterday and, and uh, high of day today. So you could see a bounce and a run back up to EMA4, which is currently at 29.69 to uh, um, fill that gap. And, and so, yeah, it, it could continue. The, it could have a bounce similar to up here, you know, where, where it gets overextended to the downside. It bounces, hits the pink line and continues lower, you know, it goes down, you know, bounces, you know, hits the, the line line, pulls back, you know, hits the p pink line, you know, as long as it keeps staying below EMAs 4 and 8, that's a signal that it's going to keep dropping lower. And so you can play the bounce, but you have to exit quickly <clears throat> because the, the, the continuation is going to continue <clears throat> if it doesn't stay above the EMAs 4 and 8. And so now it, it's over here hitting support from August. You can see there's not a whole lot of support here. It was, it, it was This is where a breakout mode was. And so you have big support down here near 24. So basically, if this 27 to 28 support level fails to hold, you know, this is headed for 20 two to 24 zone okay and then now general motors so general motors is under pressure as well we have the automakers of uh, uh, you know filling the heat um th this dropped all the way down to the 300 day simple moving average and so it's hitting uh 37.50 you know, that's the big level to hold. If it drops below that, I mean, the chart's completely broken. You know, this is where it should have a, at least a technical bounce. You know, if it fails to bounce here, you know, that's going to be, you know, major, major downside risk. The chart is already broken. You know, the bears are already in control. You know, you if you get a technical bounce here, what you're looking for is a run back up to this 200-day simple moving average in EMA4 at 39.24. <clears throat> you know, it's likely to bounce and hit those levels and then, uh, you know, if it fails to break back above and turn into support, you know, then then the downtrend would continue. Notice the big volume behind the move. So if you see it below 3750 and that level turns into resistance, that's going to be a major red flag for General Motors. Okay, now Ford. We'll finish it up with Ford, <clears throat> and you can see here. It's under big pressure as well. It, it, it has fast dough now below 20. You know, RSI isn't quite below, uh, you know, isn't to 30 yet, but it's dropping. Uh, you can see it's setting up on a, a, a multiple bottom here. Um, you know, it has a, a bottom over here in August, and then it came down here in February and, and, and double bottomed and bounced off the double bottom, and now it's retesting the double bottom level. Okay, so so is this a triple bottom? I mean, it looks like a triple bottom to me. But but if it doesn't hold, then it won't be a triple bottom. It will it will break on through. So this is a crucial 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 level on the chart. Okay, for Ford, this is a make or break it setup here. If Ford fails to hold the, this 1010 to 1030 uh, support, you know 1025 support zone, uh, it's going to signal major downside risk. It's, the chart's going to be totally broken. This is the double bottom support level. You know, this is where it needs to bounce. Now, if it can hold the, 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 this 1010 to 1020 support level and, the, and then get back above that middle Bollinger Band at 1064, then it could get a reversal going. Then it could start getting a new uptrend. It tried to uh, on this candle right here, but it failed and pulled back. And, and so many times when you attempt to get above and then, and then it pulls back, that's a major red flag.
and then you know especially now you have uh, the, the steel uh, tariff coming out so yeah it, 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 keep an eye on Ford a drop below 1010 10. you know if you see Ford below 10 it's a major major red flag okay so thank you very much for viewing this video if you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis and uh, and how to uh, uh, you know trade using the charts come, come check out our, our chat uh, I'll, I'll post the uh, link below the YouTube video okay thank you